Well, that's where we bring Mama Yosa Bwaje in. She has um, the platform for you to... No. I, but you, you you can blow good whistles. What do you mean, Mopa? Uh, she has a platform for you to send your messages. It's a number she knows very well. You, have you memorized it? The number the screen. Oh, yeah. The number, the, number, the number will be on your screen very soon. So let's have the phone. It yeah. Was a while ago. Yeah. So what's up? No, but I've been I've been reading through that prompt. <laughs> so uh, it's zero five zero. Uh, I don't even have to read. It's already there. All right. So Mamavi, how have you been? I love your yellow. I've been good. Yeah, that's nice. I've been so really it. good. Right. How was your night? Uh, it was good. It you was a very long night. I slept really early. So oh. it was quite a long night. But it was difficult waking up. <laughs> I hope that all of you are wide awake yeah. and you're getting I, ready. I woke up early, incidentally. Uh, step out. I woke up very early. Yeah. Are you going to the Flagstaff house today? Um, I haven't been invited. Aha. Uh -huh. I think I need accreditation before I go. I didn't yeah, apply for Of course, for you need to be invited yeah, yeah. before you I can didn't, go. I didn't apply for accreditation. Yeah, so, so the president is meeting journalists uh, today. It's is one year, so, you know. What questions would you love to hear our journalists put to our president? What kind of questions? Uh, we're going to do like a, a total recall, if you like. We will try to, uh, and remember some of the questions that some journalists uh, asked the president last year and the sort of comments that came after. Uh, there were a lot of bashing. Some people gave some people big ups for asking very brilliant questions. Others didn't get that Not so much. Not yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, I don't know, you get overwhelmed like you're meeting the president. Was it the That's same the press, press conference that uh, Captain Smart of Adum FM asked a question the about ambulance the ambulance question? Yeah. Oh, okay. And then I, I didn't, yesterday when I saw the, oh, okay. the flyer that there was going to be an encounter with the media, I just remembered Kaba because Kaba, Kaba was, was also one of those yes, who asked yes, a, yes. a question. May he so yeah. rest in peace. Yeah. May so rest in peace. All right, let's do the daily graphic newspaper front page uh, of the graphic. NCA didn't budget for surveillance gadgets, according to a witness who was called into the box yesterday in court. CDS warns against attacks on military, and Ghana is safe, IGP declares. Uh, three crucial stories on the front page of the Daily Graphic newspaper. Let's start off with the IGP assuring the entire country that we are safe. Inspector General of Police. Mr. David Asantia Pietu has assured the public and the international community that Ghana is safe. He said there was therefore no cause of alarm and gave an assurance that the police and other security agencies were ready to deal with any security breaches. Uh, he was briefed in the media in Accra yesterday following the arrest of three persons for allegedly possessing objects believed to be explosives of varied uh, species at Agape Down near Ablikuma and Kwashibu near La Paz in Accra last Monday. Details of uh, uh, the objects that have been seized, the IGP commenting on it in the paper today. Also, the nationality of the suspects. There's been a lot of uh, talks around that. You can check out what the graphic has written. And then the intelligence and some background all in the Daily Graphic newspaper of today on this issue. Ghana is safe. That's uh, very refreshing uh, to hear. But the talk about how this whole issue was handled by the Odoko police, the display of the bombs and other things, that is also being questioned. Uh, and people are still talking about that issue. On page 16, uh, a prosecution witness yesterday told the commercial court in Accra that the 2015 procurement and budget plans for the National Communications Authority, the NCA, did not include plans to procure security gadgets for surveillance in the country. The witness said again that there was no supplementary budget to indicate the planned procurement of the gadgets. Testifying in the trial of four former board of directors of the NCA, and a businessman who have been accused of causing financial loss to the state. The head of the legal administration department of the NCA, Mrs. Abina Awakwa Asafweje, told the court that she could not locate the original $4 million contracts between the NCA and Infralux Development Limited in 2015. Mm. You can catch up. You can catch up with uh, uh, what happened else, uh, what the other things that happened in court in the paper uh, today. And then uh, CDS warns against attacks 
on military. That's a story that we've carried extensively with our colleague Ohimin Teria, who has been pretty much on the ground in Agogo. So let's do the back page of the Daily Graphic. Uh, satellite stations to be established to monitor activities of miners. Story says 14 satellite stations are to be established at strategic locations in the country this year to monitor the activities of illegal miners. Uh, and their stations will enable people to use global positioning system GPS to give prompt report on mining activities for swift responses. Okay, details of that on the back page of the graphic. Also, there's this story, AMA launches project to end open defecation. Uh, the AMA, in collaboration with the Ministry of Sanitation and Water Resources, has launched an initiative aimed at ending open defecation in the city. Mm. The initiative is dubbed, Roland, <laughs> Reduced Price Household Toilets. It's under the Greater Accra Metropolitan Area Sanitation and mm. Water Project. But we've seen a project, there was a similar project, I think like two years ago, where yeah. they were given discounts so that every household it's still ongoing. could have a it's toilet. It's the same thing, but this one, also, has, this, is this one has now been centralized and government is coming in, the World Bank is in and all that, yes. Oh, okay. All right. There's a special feature in the center spread of the daily graphic that you might want to take a look at, reviving the poultry industry through partnerships. The case of PAC. Agrotech Ghana Limited. So they're telling a specific story. You might want to check it out in the center spread of the Daily Graphic newspaper. That's how it looks like. Right there, right there. Yeah. No right. problem at all. Okay, so Roland. All right, so I do the Daily Guide. On the front page, no contract for $4 million NCA deal. Lawyers tell courts, uh, or lawyer tells court. Mamavi gave you an insight into that. Uh, IGP hunts missing bombs <laughs> and three bomb suspects caged. Uh, 14 NDC stolen cars recovered, and the story uh, about the missing NDC cars, so to speak, I believe they're more like state cars, but, you know, sometimes the tabloids need to make a big deal out of it. It says 14 stolen vehicles belonging to the office of the president uh, have been confiscated by state officials after months of uh, thorough search. Interestingly, all the 14 vehicles were captured in the ex-chief of staff, Julius Debre's report as part of vehicles in the pool at the Flagstaff House. Most of the vehicles in his report during the NDC administration are also missing. But a former presidential staff, a now member of parliament for Ningo Pram Pram Sam, George blew the cover of the said unpatriotic behavior when he said that most of the vehicles captured in the handing over reports were later sold to appointees of former President John Mahama, as well as secretaries and journalists. The Toyota Land Cruiser vehicle retrieved from NDC activist uh, John Dumelo is said to be one of the stolen cars. And so it's just a rehash of the story of all the things that initially uh, were said to be car cars that were retrieved now being officially put together. Uh, we have GBC boss fired. That story fares bro uh, broke into the limelight or perhaps into the news platforms by MajorOnline.com. And you can get a lot more as far as we're concerned in the Daily Guide. But let's, look, let's go to the center spread of the, of the Daily Guide. Is the news one pull out. It says, I'm not scared to invest in Ghana movies. A UK-based new Ghanaian movie producer, Yunis Ohinibai Siedu, has said that she is not scared to invest in Ghana's movie industry. Then why don't you invest? It's, the last, it's a long time I've watched a, a Ghanaian movie. Usually they used to sell the D DVDs on the, on the streets. Now the DVD industry is dead in Ghana. So I believe they needed to find new ways. I, I, if they can do some syndication, like the way ne Netflix does in the US, of course, n Netflix uh, uses data most of the time. But I mean, Data is expensive in Ghana. Yeah, but, so, but, but this um, one, you can have um, a, a, a normal station. Mm -hmm. uh, a real station and then try to do some syndication so all new movies People. will be premiered and if you want to watch you have to buy maybe some access code or mm. something of the sort uh, people maybe try you, you get what up, I mean. I get you, mm. uh, but some some people, pay some pay per view kind of yeah. People have tried yeah. to come up and I attended a launch. Uh, and it was going to be on an MTN platform where you can pay like 50p and well, watch a movie, that kind of thing. Well, but, but I'm, I'm, sure. I'm, I'm even talking about, uh, you know, sometimes when you have the decoders, there are some channels that are locked. Mm. So perhaps if we can have a channel 
that is only for new movies because you, um, DSTV they have Explorer. They've, they've got it? the. They've got no, the. What, what do uh, they have? The, there's a box. Uh, what's the name of that? Uh, where you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, can yeah, pay yeah, and watch. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, I know the new one. That's something box. That's the, the oh, new one. Why can't I remember? Home box <laughs> or whatever. It's not a yeah, home box. It's a, it's a it's new. A it, it's a channel, but they call it. That's the name. As in, you can you can pay and watch fresh movies. Exactly. New movies. Whatever movies that you so want to watch. So if we can have a channel like that dedicated to that, so mm. that you you buy you you buy. Um, once you have digital access, mm -hmm. so you buy a time that you can watch the movie. So they give you the itinerary, and then you can watch it. The point live. is, are the, are, the so, Ghanian, so are the Ghanian movies available? Are no, the, the thing Ghanian is, I'm, 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 uh, you know, the, the movies are not available because the producers have not been making enough or have not made enough uh, with their previous investments in the mm. movies. So they've not been able to recover. At the end of the day, we need to keep the industry running. How do we keep it running? Mm. Um, the point is, now if you're selling DVDs, people even don't have devices to play the DVDs but anymore. The because the people cinemas, have moved on. The cinemas, they now use drives and yeah. all that. The cinemas are not doing so bad. The, the cinemas, except that we've got very limited. I mean, it's, I think it's just two centers yeah, but, that we have, but right? The thing is you can talk about the silver bed and I think yeah, the West But Hills the thing Mall. is that even the, cult the social cultural practice of going to the cinemas is not part of us. So, but this one we want to bring. It used we want to be. We want to bring. We just killed all the centers. No, but even beyond so that, now there, there are a lot of innovation. The new movies are now in this. If you go to the US, they are now on screen mm. in your home. So let's try to bring it that. It is in Ghana as well, except that it's limited. No, to no it's not DSTV. A, a if you're not DSTV, if you. But if you just have a digital access, yeah. that's what I mean. Just a normal. So D more creative DTT ways or, of getting them. Yeah, yeah. I think that accessible. if we, if government can create that those leeways yeah. or platforms for. Are you looking for a Ghanaian movie? I think Shelley's last movie. Put, uh, put, it's still potato, potato. Exactly. Yes. I think it's, it's yeah. one I've, that I've, you I've, can I've, watch. I, over yeah, the, have you, did you see it? No, over the yeah, it's the timing. I didn't watch it okay. because it's the timing. The timing yeah. was uh, I, mm. I just couldn't have watched it. Yeah. And there are Kuma Wood movies that are released there every day, every week, if you no. like. Except that we don't get to hear yes. about them. Yeah, anyway, yeah. sure. All right, let's do the Ghanaian Times newspaper. Are you through, by the way? I think I am. Yeah? Mm. Okay. Uh, the Ghanaian Times newspaper, front page of the Times, experts fail to show up at cash for seat probe. Uh, and that prompted the committee, that ad hoc committee that is sitting in Parliament, uh, that prompted them to you know, adjourn the sitting, and they're going to be announcing a different date later on. But what happened? The expatriates were supposed to appear and give their testimonies, did not show up. They waited till well over an hour. And while, you know, when nobody showed up, the chairman announced that they were going to adjourn the sitting. So we'll see uh, what happens in the coming days. I have no knowledge of $4 million dollars contract according to nca lawyer uh, this is uh, you know same story that's in the daily graphic newspaper about uh, the court appearance on this whole nca deal uh, president addresses media today and despite arrests of gang of three with seven bombs igp assures ghana is safe that full story is in the Ghanaian Times newspaper. And Unit Park Properties drags Halliburton International to court. Not sure what this issue is about, but you can read about it in the Ghanaian Times newspaper. Uh, seven grabbed over killing of two cops. Ashanti Regional Police Command has arrested seven suspected robbers in connection with the killing of two policemen and one other sustaining injury at Drobonsu in the Afram Plains on January 11, 2018. And then there's a, another story here. Nigeria summons U.S. Embassy official over transracial slur. Mm. Uh, Ghana did not, but Nigeria apparently has. Uh, back page of the Ghanaian Times newspaper. Ghanaian referee for Togo. Uh, is it Sosedo Fights? Oh, Togo Sosedo Fight. All right. <laughs> Kotoko has of all chase G8 final tickets and sport headlines there on the back page of the Ghanaian Times newspaper. All right. All right, so let's um, 
Can't oh, Roland, yes. This is the GVC director who has been asked to proceed ah, on leave. Apologies. Ah, mm. There's a bit of uh, the stories in the center spread of the time. So let me just, you know, like we haven't heard it. Uh, the director general of the Ghana Broadcasting Corporation, Dr. Kwame Ekufu Anofinto, has been asked to proceed on leave by the governing board of the state broadcaster. The directive to Dr. Anofinto was issued on Monday evening, according to a source close to GBC. He is in his 13th month as the director general of the state broadcaster, the directive, the source explained, was because of the corporation's unpopular resolve to prosecute people who will default in the payment of the mandatory television license fee. And it gives a little background uh, of that. So following an evaluation of the situation, the board has instructed the management of the Ghana Broadcasting Corporation not to pursue any activity or set of processes leading to the prosecution of any individual for the non-payment of the television license fee. Okay, so that's the uh, little uh, bit on the GBC Director General who's been asked to proceed on leave. I've got a question. When they want to sack someone, why don't they just simply sack the person yeah. and sort of say, proceed on leave. What is in this proceed on leave? I don't like know. Like you have, you've compiled leave yeah. days. Even brings me <laughs> uh, to a point where I, I keep asking myself, what, what's the point then in trying to, you know, strive to achieve um, things and, and then you want to perhaps even impact society. And so ah. you, take, you, you, take, you take a position, you take a position because you want to make an impact. And after all the experiences you have, Sometimes people just uh, not take all these machinations can I, behind. Can I say something, Roland? Yeah. It just occurred to me. Shouldn't the board of the DVLA also sack the chief executive, <laughs> yeah. ask him to proceed on leave? Because, listen, he took an action <laughs> without recourse to the board. Yes. Similar thing happened with DVLA uh, he's with the kids. And the board didn't ask him to proceed on leave. Shouldn't we have the same, you know, like a fixed something? Yeah, the same yeah. benchmark for everybody. Exactly. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah. Makes it, you know, for example, if you are appointed in a certain era, uh, you know, new government comes, and, and it makes you, like, we are all growing. Wait, wait, you wait, know? wait, wait, Roland, you can't put this in the same... No, 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 no. Sometimes we, we have to call a spade a spade. No, no, no. no, no I'm no, not saying no, government no, is... No, 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 no. Let's, let's be factual. I'm no. not on you... No. I'm not on your does, side it, on this. It, it, just, it just doesn't... What, it just what doesn't are the reasons? Listen, when they ask people to proceed on leave, mm. when it is the normal political talk, mm. they don't even give you any explanation. Yeah. They just say proceed on leave. But they these don't owe you any because, explanation. Because GBC... The board because, is telling us the reason why, but because, the, my, my because question... GBC, my only question... You I'm know, not NC, uh, the um, NMC appoints the GBC board. The, the GBC boss, you know that. So... At the end of the day, they'll tell you the board and the NCA, they took a decision. Well, the board has, had, has uh, given their the recommendation, recommendation to the that, NMC. They've that notified they should, them uh, great. that this is the so, action that we've taken. But, but the board, I mean, once you are CEO, once you're director general, you report to the board. That's your direct yeah, whatever. True. And if they say that you've gone contrary Sometimes, to lay down um, procedures. Um, um, they, well, they, oh. That's in your a, mind. That's my a, mind. Yes, that is well, in I'm your I'm mind. A, I'm entitled to my what opinion. What we are then. aware of, <laughs> is what is factual, what is out there. That's it. Uh, what is in your mind stays in your mind. Right. Yeah. No, it shouldn't stay in my mind. Then I shouldn't be here. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's wrong. Don't no, no, you think no, no. it's wrong? No, but you're giving you're giving something that is in your in your mind. Yeah, true. Meanwhile, there's a reason that has been given to the decision no. that has been made. Yeah, that's why we I said know. what is in there your mind. There are reasons that are given every day. Yeah. They use the regulations and make sure that you're well, kicked that's out. That's why we have regulations. That's just the, make just sense. don't and avail you, yourself. And, and you, you are even making allusions and trying to just oppose that I'm with not. the situation of the DVLA. It's the same situation. But I'm not adding. Why is it, I'm why not is it that adding, the ben, why is it that the benchmarks are different? Any, any meaning to what is already out there? Uh, I'm just saying the board says, okay, they, you didn't consult me. You were mm, supposed to. You shouldn't anyway. have taken that decision alone. Let's, That's just what I'm saying. Let's leave it. I'm just saying any other reason you have, Roland Walker, should stay in your mind. Uh. Well, I've said it, though. Uh, well, let's look at the Daily Dispatch. Uh, the Daily Dispatch has on the front page, update of gang of three with bombs. They speak local languages fluently. And, um, well, we also, but they're Ghanaian, so they should speak local languages fu fluently. And then we have uh, MPP MP tells Yoko, stop disgracing a Kufuado. And... Again, I have to disagree with you. The fact that they speak local language fluently doesn't mean that they're Ghanaians. Okay. Ah. Is the report saying they are not Ghanaians? I believe. Are you, are you saying that they are not Ghanaians? Is that what My you're saying? My comments is based on what you said. Okay, let it stay in your mind. I believe <laughs> that. Every, 
You cannot make a determination whether they are Ghanaians or they are not Ghanaians. The report says that they are Ghanaians. And you are saying no, that they are not Ghanaians. you Ghanians. said, based on the headline, that of course they speak uh, uh, the language fluently, so they are Ghanaians. And I'm just telling you that the fact that somebody speak, speaks any local language fluently does not make them Ghanaian. Mm. That's not the criteria for being mm. Ghanaian. And I'm saying that for all the things that we have to say, Karim Abdul, Osman Al Hassan, and Ishmael Ali Musa are all Ghanaians. According I'm not to the report, with you. according to the report, they are I'm Ghanaians. I'm not arguing with you, Roland. I'm I, just I'm saying. I'm saying that they are Ghanaians. So Roland, they why do you want to fight? No, I'm not fighting. Like I don't get you. Okay, I get you. I'm now just let's saying. It is wrong to assume that anybody who speaks either a can or ever fluently is Ghanaian. I have not said that anybody who speaks those languages should always Sometimes, be Ghanaian. Sometimes, uh, I wish I could just play back some of the things that you, you say. No. Okay. I'm saying you, that okay, I have not okay. said that anybody who says... I give up. I am saying in particular I, or in relation Roland, to this, I give up. that whoever I started is, it, is saying this headline do may not be right. They speak local languages fluently. Oh, and I said, oh, because they are Ghanaians. Okay, you, I hear you. Let me do that. If you're Ghanaian, you speak fluent language. Uh, that's okay, because you're Ghanaian. The, the, okay. the final the, newspaper. The are business. You no, no, I'm not fit. The Business and Financial Times Data Bank projects buoyant equity market in 2018. And then we also have other stories. No shows lead to overbookings as airlines bear costs of boarding denials. And GRA tax to collect 39 billion Ghana cities as revenue in 2018. And then on the back page, we have some donor uh, calling for change of mindset towards local product. And you have a picture there of um, Dr. Sam Jonah. Mm. Okay, so th that would do the, for the review for the Business and Financial Times model. Let's do the Finder newspaper. Front page... The finder, 33 killed, 31.2 million Ghana cities, properties destroyed through 4,759 fire disasters in 2017. And this is our country we're talking about. NPP Outdoors reviewed constitution. IGP edges calm amidst explosives probe. Minister stops increments in university admission form fees. That story is on page 10. Uh, a bit of that in the find on page 10. Here we go. Okay, it says, The Minister of State in charge of tertiary education, Professor Kwesi Yanka, has sent a strong message to public universities to desist from increasing the cost of admission forms for the next academic year. This comes on the back of uh, reports that some public tertiary institutions have increased the cost of admission forms for undergraduate and diploma programs for the 2018-2019 academic year. So some public universities have increased the cost of admission forms to about 18%. The increment follows a directive from government to public universities to cede 34% of their internally generated funds uh, to central government. All right, so details of what the minister has been saying uh, on this directive, this action by the universities. Uh, in the paper, but what does that mean uh, really to the person who's going to buy a form or who's going to buy a form that's, uh, that has been increased? Details of that in the final newspaper. We've got the editor of the final newspaper on our show today. By the way, we're looking back uh, as uh, journalists appear before the president or the president appears before journalists to give an account of his one year. Uh, and journalists also step forward to ask questions uh, we want to do some analysis in the studio ahead of that. So that's why Elvis Diakon is on our show. Today. Mm. And he'll be appearing today. alongside someone who is a legal practitioner, but also exactly. lectures at the Ghana Institute of Journalism. Yeah. Uh, gives us a collection of uh, somebody with legal brains and somebody with experience in the media as well. But yeah. let's move on. Let's look at the online portals. So we go to myjournline.com. Okay, Mama V. So we have MajorOnline.com. Mama V, we have MajorOnline.com. Yeah, we do. Minority others rip Ekufuado uh, over populist electricity tariff reduction. So the minority in Parliament, ASEP and ISODEF, ISODEC have criticized the president over the electricity tariff reduction announcement, describing it as unfortunate. Details there on myjoyonline.com. Ekufuado marks one year in office with second media encounter. Uh, let's move on. Creation of new regions. Justice Brobe Commission begins.
public hearing. Uh, so the chairman of the Commission of Inquiry into the proposed creation of new regions, Justice Stephen A. Broby, says consultations at scheduled public hearings will play a key role. Uh, okay, this is not exactly complete, but you can finish it off uh, if you're interested in the details of it when you open it up. Uh, progression of arms to explosives in amateur hands dire for Ghana, according to a retired captain of the Ghana army. Uh, he said that the nation must be worried about the progression of arms to explosives in amateur hands. And you can read details of that also on the page. And some photos. St. John's Grammar 97-year group marks 20 years anniversary. Trump outbursts Undiplomatic but true, Jacob Osei Yeboah. Oh, okay. That's uh, it's undiplomatic, but it's true that you know we live in rule and finish the sentence. <laughs> Let's move on. Oh, you've changed. Yeah. Oh, I have not changed. Ah, uh, I have not changed. So uh, Tuesday yeah. briefing, a Kufuado NC four million dollars uh, cash cash for C committee in Yoko EC attack. Uh, here are the big stories that made the news today okay so this is just my mm. uh summing up the big what news happened over the news day. Tuesday. yeah exactly oh Iyoko, this is the second day the 14 days that uh, you gave <laughs> to the deputy commissioner i said that i would remind you, you every day when we, yeah exactly so we've <laughs> done two days already out of the 14 yeah. we've got 12 more days to i'm just curious to the, know what you will do after the 14 The days. time will come, definitely. <laughs> and uh, they, 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 they give the woman a reprieve, or she rather give them a reprieve. It depends well, they both agreed. They both I think agreed. it was like a gentleman's mm. agreement. Well, we'll see you say you want us to give you a bit, a bit more time for you to finish your investigations. So finish, okay. finish it up. Let's gently agree 14 days. Um, okay, let's move on. Donald Trump said, Rola, what's the difference between shit house and shit hole? Uh, I think they're all the same. <laughs> 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 so apparently he didn't say shit hole, he said shit house. Yeah, they're all the same. <laughs> shit hole and shit house. <laughs> so Donald Trump, um, okay, so there's an insider who is stating exactly what uh, it has been claimed he said if you're interested really i'm not interested in whatever he says about us i know where i live and and that's what matters yeah, true. okay there are some stories on myjohnline.com that you can check out uh, there are some videos as, as well corruption allegations in parliament uh, there are other videos of our content here on joy news if you miss anything on joy news you can always uh, catch up right there Okay. All uh, right. So let's go to City FM online if we can. And we have Ghana uh, discovering new mineral. We're told that it's lithium, uh, titanium, all in the mix of um, the minerals that are used for a number of things, for car parts, for some electronic gadgets, etc. So that should be good for Ghana. Well, the Minerals Commission is saying that um, they have 14 sites for which they're monitoring. Uh, they'll set up teams there, more so they would want to investigate if these deposits are in commercial quantities. Uh, uh, well, uh, one of the reports I read said that Volta region has uh, some of the deposits, so they found uh, <laughs> the first deposit of minerals in the Volta region. All right, so let's go. Uh, poultry farmers blame poor Christmas sales as uh, we know that they say that um, the, this is as a result of poor chicken imports that are coming into the country. But let's go. Return Gitmo 2 now. And that's a story attributed to international relations expert Dr. Vladimir Trudanso. I listened to him mm. uh, in I did that too. interview yesterday. I did too. Strongly he, making he was emphatic. Uh, yes. very uh, you know, strong positions. And touching on other things related to security as well. Definitely. I thought he made a lot of sense. He did. In that he, conversation. He, he, he's, a, he's a storehouse of knowledge. Now, we have to move on next, and uh, it says, we'll respond to attacks by Agogo Hetzman, the chief of um, defense staff. 
One of the things he said that got uh, the men there, uh, maybe some women as well, applauding was the fact that he said he was not going to sacrifice any Cow. military officer or <laughs> any police officer or a civilian for cut. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we have other stories there. Let's scroll up and see. We have government using Yoko to hound DC. So Pukwa Mankwada is uh, um, that's something that should be staying in the minds of the minority. It shouldn't re really be voicing it out. It says, that's their you feel opinion. hurt by what I said, right? It, oh, no, 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 no. So we go on. It says, Ghana's <laughs> judicial system frustrates businesses. Some Jonah. And um, Nanado faces journalists at Flaxa Files today. I don't know whether uh, he's rather meeting journalists or the journalists are meeting him. Because really, he's hosting them. So, I don't know. It's both ways, really. He's hosting them, but he's submitting himself to yeah, them. Yeah, sure, sure. For, yeah. for questioning. <laughs> okay, so we have... Um, the Africa page of the BBC Mamabi. Uh, and this story Another was great trending. Yeah. This story of a, uh, of a guy, a little boy really. Okay, so the family of HM model moves for security. The mother of a child model caught up in an HM racism row says her family has had to move house. Oh, for real? Yeah. Um, I thought that, okay, well, it, I think what was written on what he was wearing, that kind of like made the rounds was this coolest uh, monkey, monkey in, in the, the house. house and uh, yeah it prompted people but I'm not sure this is not something that you readily think about if he's a child model he probably is not even making sense of what is written in what he's showcasing that kind of thing uh, but I don't know how but you can read about the, the story and appreciate it how the family is affected in all of these I thought one of yeah. the big artists wanted to either buy him out of the deal or something of the sort. Not sure. Yeah, and uh, I, 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 I was reading uh, some stuff also from the mother who was interviewed by some uh, media houses, um, and she said that apparently the gentleman, or the young boy, had been modelling. Um, I think she, she, he's five or six or seven mm. or so. Has been modelling for the last couple of years for not only this brand, but a number of brands yeah. across Europe. Mm. Uh, Nigeria frees 244 Boko Haram suspects. Uh, SA wants uh, $130 million back from consultancy. So the money is linked to a corruption-plagued consultancy deal involving state power company ESCOM. UK law firm covered up SA corruption. There are other... Uh, Highlights here that you can check out. Police search for albino boys killers. Robert dressed as nun on the run. This is something that is also really hot and people are fascinated by this whole idea. I think it's in Kenya. Uh, people kind of just admire the way that people have just robbed. <laughs> and they're on the run. They haven't been found. There's and, an appeal. So if and they've really <laughs> become an internet <laughs> sensation too. Yeah. Especially if you look at uh, many of the <laughs> online portals in East Africa. And the way <laughs> they undertook all that. No, it's a very smart and, way, though. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't say a very right way, but... But smart. people are kind of just admiring. One of the reasons, <laughs> one of them is the fact that this is January. We are coming from a long, yeah. um, you know, Break from the festivities. From and the and people are broke. <laughs> so people are just looking for ways to make extra money. And people say, hmm, this is fascinating. Uh, so there are lots of stories that you can check out. A bit of your messages just before we wrap up. Uh, Abudu Joseph from Chifohimang sends us a message you're watching. Thanks. Uh, this one says, you guys, uh, Derry Nakosombo, I choose to read or not, but noted. Uh, this one says, the 2018, uh, this 2018, uh, Isaac Agunan not sure exactly what you are saying, but thanks for the message. This one says, uh, Paul in Tamale, thanks for the message as well. This one says, uh, help me wish uh, one and only Rashida Salami a happy belated birthday. Uh, that's Baba Amando inside Obuasi Asonko sending us this message. Uh, Nantoma Mohammed also says, uh, I have not heard you talk about the discovery of the new mineral in Ghana. Uh, that was addressed to Roland, but yes, when we touched on the CTFM page, we, we did talk about it. This one says, I traveled from Cape Coast to Kumasi, and in between was a town using rubbish collected from the nearby market to fill the potholes on the highway. Now tell me, is this not a shithole country? Uh, so are we beginning to justify what has been said? Well, then find uh, a house, because he says it's no hole, but it's a house. 
So fit it in and send the message again. Uh, this one says, uh, I would like to enlighten, um, okay, not sure. This is one of the messages that I have to read carefully before I come back with it. But this person says, kudos to IGP and his people for the arrest of the suspect. Uh, that's uh, a Doom Augustine from Bedema in the Upper East uh, region. Lots of your messages. We'll come back with uh, a lot more of them after we do uh, the spots. We have AM business today. Well, yeah. definitely. And uh, Benedict also will be here with the latest in sports. We have the transfer news and also the latest highlights from the world of sports. Just stay up.